thank you for clicking on this video. If, like me, you want to make your own petticoat, you'll need cotton, elastic, thread, fabric scissors, and if you're using a sewing machine, then a ruffle of foot helps to speed everything up, or at least it's supposed to. First, cut the fabric into six inch strips. These will make up the tiers. In the first layer, there will be two tiers, and in the second layer, there will be three tiers. To stop the edges from fraying, set your machine to a overlocking stitch, which is this zigzaggy one, and then make sure you change the foot. Using a ruffler foot, I ruffled one edge of the fabric on the 6 setting. There's also a 12 and a 1 that you can use, it just depends how many ruffles you want in the fabric. Here's the first layer that I made using some scrap fabric that I'd got from previous projects and this is what I have got left to do with the second layer. I still have a lot of fabric to overlock and ruffle. Unfortunately my ruffler foot broke while I was doing all this ruffling and then the new one that I bought to replace it broke just as I was finishing all this ruffling. Yay! Next I added some nice lace to the bottom of the top layer to make my petticoat look a bit more pretty. After I'd ruffled all the fabric, I then starched it. You can do this as many times as you want. I did it twice and was happy with the outcome. As with most of the steps involved with making a petticoat, this again is another longer repetitive one. Once you've done that, you then have to untangle the mass of ruffled fabric that you have as it does have a habit of curling up on itself. And then once you've spent ages doing that, you're going to need to pin it together. And this might mean that you might have to add some ruffles or take some out just to make sure that the pieces fit together properly. And then it's back to the sewing machine again to start putting it all together so that it actually becomes a better go. the side seams on the two layers so you have two oversized petticoats finally it's time to start work on the underskirt this is a large rectangle or square piece of material depending on which you decide and it will also be used to create the waistband
attach the two layers of tiered fabric to the underskirt by folding down the waistband and capturing everything in that fold and making sure it's pinned down smoothly. You then have to try and fit this all under your sewing machine which can be quite difficult because there are a lot of ruffles and all the excess fabric so you might need somebody to help you manoeuvre this under the machine. Once this is done you need to measure the elastic to the correct size and insert it into the waistband. Then it's finally finished. The reason I started this project was because I currently only own a black petticoat and my newest dress is white. I was reluctant to buy one online due to the current plague situation and had plenty of time to make one. I'm happy with the way it turned out and feel the shape suits the style of the dress I plan to wear with it. enjoyed this video and if you'd like to see some more alternative fashion sewing and also perhaps some cosplay stuff then please stick around so i hope that you like and subscribe and it'd be great to see you in the next video bye